What's going on guys? Steven here. Shelby. Hey. And this is our review for Winchester. So Winchester stars Jason Clark and Helen Marin, and it revolves around a story that most of us know, a lot of us don't, and it is about the Winchester house. It is known to be the most haunted house or mansion in the United States. It follows the story of Sarah Winchester, who's played by Helen, uh, Helen Marin. And uh, something is basically kind of going wrong, and that's how we meet Jason Clark, who plays the doctor that comes and evaluates her. And to just tell you guys, the story of this movie is a lot deeper than I thought it was going to be. It definitely, like, for me at least, I have recently lost a loved one, so I had a different view on this movie, and if you're in the same situation, this movie is going to cut a lot deeper um, than maybe others who haven't recently lost somebody. That's not to say that if you haven't lost anyone, you're not going to appreciate this movie any less, um, but this movie is definitely emotionally powerful and very, very deep. Oh yeah, definitely, and it's different from a lot of horror movies nowadays, and I will go ahead and say from the beginning, that this movie review is going to definitely be half and half. Not from me and her, me and Shelby specifically, yeah. but it's one of those movies where you're going to either be really in it or not in it at all. Uh, it's a long movie, and I know that some of my friends, if they went to go see it, they'll be bored in it. But then there's other friends of mine that if they went to go see it, they will really love it. And that's because this has a a lot of character development in this movie, specifically for Jason Clark. His character starts off as a skeptic and just, he becomes something more. And it's, this is a non-spoiler review, so we're not gonna go into any spoilers for this movie, so that way you know, but just know that the character development in this movie was fantastic. One thing I did like about this movie on the topic of, of character development is that, you know, you have a lot of movies that have side characters where they just kind of, like, their story just kind of trails off and they don't really hold much significance to the story like you thought they would. Um, in this movie, they don't do that. Even the side characters have, you know, just excellent character development, and that's one thing that I really, really liked about this movie. Same here. And another thing that I really loved is the fact that this movie does not go away from the original purpose of the movie and a lot of you that know horror movies know that there's a specific scene that starts everything off it's never revisited and this movie actually stays on par with that and i like the way that they did it as well now so you guys kind of know about the story without the spoilers jason clark is the doctor that was hired by the winchester corporation to go and evaluate sarah winchester to see if she is fit to be uh, still be able to, to run the company after her husband, William Winchester, died. If you don't know what the, what the Winchester name is about, basically great created rifles. And they have the most powerful rifles on the market. Mm -hmm. it's, it's interesting how they did the story. They changed little things about Sarah's uh, history. If you know anything about Sarah Winchester at all, uh, the widow of Winchester Mansion, then you'll know that what I mean but the one things that are true that they talked about in this film um, that said that it's based off of actual events is that the the Winchester house was built and it was big and the architecture of it makes no sense yeah at all and they touch on that in the movie which is really awesome a lot actually and I like that yeah they really <laughs> yeah, did a lot <laughs> and I like how they yeah. showed it it just, ah. Uh, yeah. It was good. It was good. Now, um, there is times where, for me, the movie slowed down. This is a long movie. Uh, for me, it slowed down a little bit, and it took me out for a moment, but the moment that I was brought back in, I was brought back in. And the, I wasn't out for a long time at all. At all. Just letting you know that. 
But, but for me, like, I'm, the, I'm a little bit on the opposite end. Um, I felt that there wasn't any slow points, which is super unique, I guess, for a movie, because, you know, most movies nowadays, at least, definitely have, like, some slow moments, but for me, I was constantly intrigued the entire time, and they have parts of the movies that were just done so right that, like, for those people who do, like, I guess, kind of get bored with the movie, like, are instantly drawn back, so. Yeah. Um, but for me, I felt like there wasn't any slow points. And <laughs> now, I didn't get bored with the movie for, for, okay. for me. For me, I know for others, they will get bored with this movie. Yeah. This movie has a lot more character development than they do the horror. And we'll talk about the horror part in a second. But... Yeah, this is definitely a movie where, like, you need to be awake when you're going to, like, see it. Um, no sleepy eyes. Because there is a lot of information. Mm -hmm. And, you know, uh, if you, like, really pay attention, the characters say a lot of things a certain way that foreshadows and so you definitely need to be like on alert in a sense and definitely like paying attention um to what they're saying so definitely now yeah. let's talk about the jump scares oh god <laughs> the jump scares there was not a lot we'll start that off there was not a lot of jump scares but when the jump scares happened they happened yeah there are some that were calculated that if you always see horror movies you'll see coming mm -hmm. but there are multiple jump scares in this movie that you would not see coming. I would coming. say, like, there was a, a couple that at least really stood out to me where you thought something was going to happen, and it didn't. <laughs> and it scared the crap out of you. And you were already getting scared because you thought of what was going to happen, and then you really get scared because something else totally happened. And, yeah, so they executed the jump scares very well. It wasn't overdone. It was perfect timing for every single one. Oh, yeah. So. If anything, like this movie is, is definitely a psychological thriller. Oh, for sure. Um, but the character, I'm going to go back to it. The character development that that every character had in this movie was wonderful. Jason yeah. Clark brought it, and this movie was riding a lot on his shoulders. Oh, he brought that emotion that needs to be there, especially for his character story and the twist that is in this movie. Mm -hmm. He brought it. Helen Marin always brings it. She always does. And everything she does, she is wonderful. I love that woman to death. She is fantastic. But Jason, buddy, did not see this really coming from you. And I am pleasantly surprised. I mean, you were, you did pretty good. You're very good at dramatic. He's very good at dramatic. Yeah. I mean, granted, he was in um, uh, Terminator Genesis and as John Connor. And as though the movie wasn't that great. He was great in it. Like, he just brings everything to to what he's doing. Even if it might seem like it's a paycheck movie, he still brings it. And I appreciate that in an actor and uh, an artist in general. So, hats off to you, sir. No hat on, but hats off to you, yeah, sir. The casting was great. The character development was, you know, just phenomenal. And, you know... Not every movie is 100% perfect, but this one definitely didn't have any plot holes, and I definitely commend them for that, because a lot of times horror movies do have those plot holes, and it kind of falls through, and it's you, and it's so noticeable, but this one it just really didn't, and it came full circle very beautifully. Oh yeah, it did. Yeah. Now, uh, I want to go ahead and point out really fast, the lighting seems a little bit off, that's because one of my lights broke, so I need to get a new light. Uh, so there's a lot We're of shadow like, behind this. Half and, of me is glowing. And I'm, <laughs> I'm dark, period. But, you know, it's just a thing. But we just want to let you know that this is this, that's why it looks that way. Uh, that should be fixed soon. Guys, thank you for checking out our review on Winchester. Again, we recommend you to go see this movie. Yes, definitely. Go see this movie. It and, comes out February 2nd. Yep. So. Which, if you're watching this later on or on February 2nd, you know, we're still reminding you that it's out now. Basically. So yeah. it's out now. Um, by the time this goes up, it will be out. So go see this movie. Also, uh, don't forget to subscribe, like our videos, and comment below. Let us know what you thought. And uh, don't forget to hit that bell next to the subscribe button. Yeah, so you know when our videos go up. Exactly. Like <laughs> Again, thank you for... Uh, checking us out and thank you for supporting our channel. We are very grateful and we could not do this without you guys We really appreciate it. My name is Steven. I'm Shelby and we'll see y'all next time. Bye